Sarabana Bhavayenama. Good morning from me, Shridika Pele, and the rest of the team. Thank you for joining us here on Satna, the Inward Path on ACBC3. With the Kavadi Festival almost upon us, devotees are immersed in penance and prayer. Keep your body, mind, and soul spiritually connected with conscious cooking, yoga, and the Ramayan series coming up later on. First up, we capture the beauty of prayer through the South African pilgrimage to Botswana during Partasi last year. In Hinduism, pilgrimage holds great significance. The energy contained in sacred spaces is believed to rejuvenate the spiritual seeker. The Northwest Tamil Federation embarks on an annual pilgrimage to the Lord Balaji Temple in Gaborone during the first Saturday of the Holy Partasi month. Devotees are bussed in from different parts of Gauteng and Durban for the sacred journey. And this time around, Sadhna was there. of devotees from around the world throng to Tirupati in South India annually, especially in the holy month of Purtasi for the darshan of Lord Balaji. Here on the African continent, a Hindu temple, popularly called the Tirupati Balaji Temple of Botswana, has become the epicenter for Hindus in Africa to embark on a similar pilgrimage to the Lord. Somewhere around about 2011, my grandmother, she was quite old, she was 85, and she heard about this Balaji temple, uh, which she called the Tirupati Balaji of Botswana. And she asked me if I could take her there. So when I got here, it was an absolutely beautiful structure. It wasn't as complete as what it is now. Uh, there was still work being done. When she passed on, uh, something triggered in me to do this for other people. On my first uh, go, I thought it would be just Northwest. And I said, okay, 20 seat I will do. And that's what I aimed at. <laughs> and uh, it shot up. 40 within a week we had registered to attend the pilgrimage. Tassi pilgrimage, as it has become known, is the brainchild of Pregi Pillay of the Northwest Tamil Federation, who, after discovering this gem nestled in Gaborone, began to share this with fellow South Africans. Since its inception three years ago, the pilgrimage has gained much momentum and popularity. Initially, mostly devotees from Pretoria and the Northwest made the journey, but as news of the pilgrimage spread, it also generated interest from other parts of Gauteng and Durban. Synonymous with the long queues which pilgrims are met with at Tirupati, the South Africans too had to undergo such penance at the Botswana border post. After a four-hour wait, they finally entered the country and embarked on the final leg of the journey to their Lord. In the last three years, in fact the first year, Preggy actually made an initiation and I think on that time we had two buses that actually came through. Last year we had three buses and about 15 vehicles that came through. This year for the first time we've had a whole bus load from Durban and three buses from Lodi and Benoni and Johannesburg uh, with at least about 20 vehicles that have come through and it's just increasing. The magnificent allure of the temple's architecture with its beautifully crafted iconography and spiritual vibrations of this sacred space transported the pilgrims to the sacredness of India. As one would circumambulate the Lord at Tirumala Hills, here too the pilgrims paid their obeisance to the divine by making their way around the temple.
We started uh, evolving this project way back in 1995-96. We used to have every Saturday Vishnu Sahasranam recitation, uh, which goes on in turns. Every week one uh, household will conduct it. So that's how the seed for a temple for Balaji came. Originally, the initial proposal was planned was only for Lord Balaji and his consorts. But later on, uh, you know, expatriate community coming from Sri Lanka, coming from other parts of India, we thought let's have uh, other deities as well. This is popularly known as Balaji Temple, where Lord Balaji is the uh, prime deity. So we have started the Botswana Hindu Charities Trust in the year 2000, September, and it took about seven years to build this temple. We did the Kumbhabhishekam of this temple in the year 2017, September. And this temple was built by contribution from hundreds, if not thousands of devotees who have contributed small and big amounts. This temple drawing was given by one renowned uh, uh, stapati known as Mutaya Stapati, who does who has done more than 50 who has built more than 50 temples throughout in United States. Even this temple was designed by him. And uh, whoever comes from USA, they say it looks similar to a temple in USA. And this temple was built by another stapati by name Walasingam. And all the works were done in situ. There is nothing which has been done in India or elsewhere and brought and uh, incorporated. And they were here for 19 months. We first put up the small little quarters, which is now the, one of the police quarters. And for 19 months uh, they were here and uh, we provided them with local labor and uh, material, etc. And definitely they did that. And during the consecration, which we call as Kumbhabhishekam, which happened on the 16th of September 2007, and uh, the then Excellency of the country uh, inaugurated and opened it to the public. We have deities from Lord Ganesh to Lord Shiva. There is Lord Murugan. People call them as Subramaniam as well. So we've actually made sure that we embraced all the deities, the main deities, in one form or the other. So the community as a whole feels that this is the place of worship. The main deity being Balaji. In keeping with the Purutasi tradition, a scaled-down murti of Lord Venkateshwara is taken around the temple in procession. The South African pilgrims were given the blessed opportunity to carry the palanquin, on which the Lord reclined in His glory. Purutasi is something synonymous with the Tamil community. Uh, we've been fasting for Purutasi, we've maintained that culture, we've maintained that tradition. But at the same time with the younger generation, we see it weakening up as well. There's compromises with it. So a pilgrimage like this is actually an answer for now. It, 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 there's some things that you cannot learn in textbooks, that you can learn through pilgrimage. And we really feel honored for the devotees from South Africa come and honor our temple. From their side, they may be enjoying visiting here. From our side, we really treat, uh, think it is a privilege and pleasure that we have at this temple to receive people from South Africa.
A day of penance and prayer culminated in the unified chants of Gwenda Gwenda Govinda as the pilgrims and locals alike completed the final arti to Balaji in Botswana.